Japan has given us a lot of things to enjoy. From delicious sushi to exciting animes, but because it is the home of so many artistic concepts, it is easy to forget that it is an island country. Surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, the country offers beautiful skies and astonishing sights. One of the most interesting things that make all of Japan itself a destination you must visit is its mix of ancient tradition mixed into modern lifestyles. In Japan, you experience both of these intensely. Let's look at a few places you should definitely catch when you're in Japan. Number 5. Chubu Sangaku National Park in the Japanese Alps In Japan, there is no dearth of natural beauty. Japan houses many landscapes of untouched nature, one of which is the Chubu Sangaku National Park. This made it to the list of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites and that is done rightly so. Spread over to the area in the center of Honshu, in the park you can see a wide range of flora and fauna, a lot of which are of special significance because of how rare they are. There are also hot springs that have attracted the construction of resorts and spas. The landscape is abundant in snow in the winter and so attracts more walkers and climbers in the spring, which is when you should ideally be visiting Japan anyway. Number 4. Mount Fuji A trip to Mount Fuji is unmissable when in Japan. This still active volcano is only 100 kilometers from Tokyo. It is the country's tallest peak and reaches a height of 3,776 meters. It is one of Japan's three sacred mountains. Mount Fuji is the site for many adventurous spirits. Millions of people set out every year to climb to the top, although many people only start halfway. The mountain is home to many temples and historical structures, which are at and around the base of the mountain. The mountain in itself is beautiful. Set against different hues of blue, it is in a pleasantly conical shape with a white top of snow. When looking at the mountain, you often see cherry blossoms in your view, and that view is so serene and beautiful, it is to die for. Number 3. Kiso Valley this valley is situated on the Kiso River and is surrounded by large steep mountains. The valley used to be a part of the trade route that connected Kyoto and Tokyo. Today, it is a popular tourist destination because of how beautiful it is. And once you see it, you'll understand why. The streets here set a dramatic contrast between the cozy wooden homes and the dense vegetation that surrounds the towns. The mountain ranges provide spectacular sights for people who enjoy hiking. The valley is an untouched rural area of Japan and takes you back to simpler, slower times. A great place for people who want to take a break from their fast pace of life and just relax for a bit while being close to nature. Number 2. Historic Kyoto Kyoto is one of Japan's most visited cities. It has preserved many architectural marvels and cultural monuments since the imperial family moved here more than 1000 years ago. It is one of the few cities in Japan that survived the destructive attacks during World War II. Kyoto was and is Japan's most important cultural center. It has many museums and art galleries that have housed the talent of the country through generations. If you visit Kyoto, you must visit their Buddhist-inspired temples. Their temples are made out of gold-clad exteriors, so of course, there's a rich Asian's stereotype, right? Number 1. Imperial Tokyo you probably don't need to be convinced to visit Tokyo, right? The most populous city can of course give you a vacation full of hustle and bustle. This city is a great place for you to interact with the locals and get a taste of the modern with a twist of ancient. Metropolitan Tokyo has done a mind-blowing job combining both. But a lesser known place is Imperial Tokyo. The main site of attraction is the Imperial Palace. Unfortunately, it is not open to everyone since the imperial family still lives there, but it sure still is a sight to see. If you want to make the most of your visit, be sure to make a reservation well in advance and be early. 
Even without that, in Imperial Tokyo, you can visit gardens and bridges that fill your heart with pure content. And that's what it is about Japan's landscapes, striking sceneries that make your heart skip a beat. They've become symbolic of an extremely rich culture that the people keep close to their hearts. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up button and leave a comment telling us which place you like to visit best. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more of such videos and press the bell icon to be notified every time we post.